you know, New York City when I was around 23, and before I knew it, I was shooting uh, international ad campaigns and all that stuff, and I was a young kid almost, you know, so I was making money, and I'd never had money before, so um, it was like this whole new lifestyle for me, and I started shooting tons of celebrities and album covers and all kinds of things. I've gone, shot almost everything in my career. Uh, I got kind of into the drug scene, you know, it's not kind of, I did, I like dove into it. I was, a, uh, I got into uh, doing cocaine and cocaine was a huge drug at that time. Every, everybody did it, you did it at restaurant tables, you, you know. I had a big photo studio and we'd pour out cocaine and have parties and you know, just, it was just ridiculous. But I got, I became a cocaine addict, a crack addict. I ended up getting into freebase and crack and my whole actually incredible career started to take a nosedive. It got really bad actually. I went away to drug rehabs, everything and couldn't get clean. I, I actually, I got so bad with a drug addiction that I thought I was going to die as an addict at one time. So. I, um, there was a night when I was all alone and I cried out to God with all my heart. I was like in my bedroom seeing satanic and demonic um, things on the wall and hearing demonic voices speaking to me and the next thing I was out in the living room of my big photo studio and that's where I had the white light experience where I cried out to God. And um, the next thing I knew I had fallen to my knees and just said, God, you just proved to me you're real, but I'm an addict. I can't stop doing drugs. And I got up and I had gone to go get these pictures to put up on a wall where I seen the satanic symbols. It was just a weird thing I wanted to do. I got to the tool chest, pulled out a hammer, pulled out some nails. They landed in my palm and the Holy Spirit came down on me again. And I, I heard him say, it's like, you don't have to say no to drugs anymore. I, I, will say no for you because I died for your sins. Um, and I was instantly delivered out of a drug addiction that, that I had for almost 12 years and uh, in New York and had been ruining my career. And um, right after that, I, my career was starting to bloom again. And actually this album cover happened very shortly after I got sober and clean. Uh, I became a pastor about six years, five, six years ago. And um, it, it was a time where I had already started doing a lot of, um, I'd gotten involved at our church in New York City, Times Square Church, and uh, at that time I started going out, it's been over years I've been going out on the mission field, going doing a lot of humanitarian aid and taking photography, taking my photo camera with me, taking incredible pictures of the human, uh, you know, humans in, in their environment in, in really hard situations from war-torn um, countries to orphanages to all kinds of different things. I've been in prisons, like really poor prison situations. Um, um, I've been in AIDS hospitals. Those were hard, really, really hard, especially with AIDS and children um, throughout South Africa and stuff. Um, street kids always just pulls at your heart. I, I've done a lot of work with street kids and um, a lot of pictures. Um, India, and it's tough too because of their culture and stuff. Um, and the beggar kids who come up to you and they don't have an arm and they're like this and they, they, one of their arms is cut off and they're begging for money. And I remember a time when I was with a, a guy on the back of a motorcycle driving around, uh, you know, Mumbai. And, we stopped and so these kids were out there begging with no arms and one hand like begging and I said what is this man they're all like all these kids without arms and he goes they do that on purpose become to become better beggars they'll go out and lay on the railroad tracks and have the railroad cut off their arm just so that they know they have no hope in life and that's their hope is like I'll become a better beggar you know I, my life has um, changed dramatically from where I was I have people call me literally and say, what? are you nuts? You gave up photography? I gave up like a career that was people's dream careers, you know? Um, um, celebrities traveling all over, doing all kinds of incredible things, invited to all the big parties, and I, you know, I still was for, was for years, but, but it was a, a dream life. And uh, my life now is, I love it. To me, 
To me, I help people get off drugs, I help youth, I help adults, I help people through life problems, I preach, I teach, I, uh, I, I feel like my life is very fulfilling now, very extremely fulfilling in um, just uh, helping people through life uh, problems and situations and um, helping people grow and uh, like I say I, I lead people to the light side of life and so the dark side so you know, I know Christ is the answer <laughs>